So what makes the Isuzu D-Max V-Cross 4x4 such an endearing vehicle? I've had it with me now for a couple of weeks. I've been using it as my daily driver, been taking it up and down the ghat here in Kodekanal, as well as using it on a few uh, highway runs. And it's a vehicle that sort of wins you over with its uh, versatility. I'm Vikram Gore, you're watching Motorscribes, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about why the D-Max V-Cross is just such a great all-round vehicle. Well, to start with, the first thing that does win you over with the D-Max V-Cross is the fact that it looks absolutely stunning. It's got the Isuzu family look up front. Uh, of course, uh, Isuzu revised the headlights. Now you've got these LED projector headlights as well as DRLs. And it's got a nice imposing front stance. So everything about it screams uh, being macho, being something that's big, built to be tough. And its sheer size is the other element that really does get to you. But uh, when you take a look at the V-Cross, you know that it's built for a specific purpose. It is a pickup truck at the end of the day, but it is a lifestyle vehicle too. So Isuzu has sorted out a lot of things with uh, the D-Max V-Cross and you get a vehicle that's a brilliant all-rounder. Like for me, this would be an exceptional family vehicle. It's something that I would use uh, to take uh, just about anywhere. And it would also suffice for me to head out to dinners with the family as well. Because once you get inside the cabin, you realize that it's brilliant for uh, five people to be on board. It's got all the creature comforts that you're looking for. Uh, you've got a nice audio system on board, steering mounted controls. Uh, in fact, the Z Prestige model comes with a nice uh, start-stop button as well. This one happens to be the automatic, which again adds to its uh, ease of use. And it is a six-speed automatic uh, that is paired with the 1.9-liter uh, diesel engine that uh, Isuzu sticks in here. It's a variable turbo intercooled engine that delivers about 163 uh, bhp of power and 360 newton meters of torque. And uh, yes, I know 1.9, even when I first heard about these engine specs, I was a little like, ah, I don't know, I'm going to miss the 2.4. But to be honest with you, there's nothing to miss. This 1.9 is just such a gem of an engine. It's beautiful the way it powers up. Uh, you've got a ton of uh, pulling capacity. You've got a ton of loading capacity with the, the D-Max V-Cross. And this engine does that job. Now, while out on the highway, uh, you know, the other thing that comes to light is the fact that uh, this vehicle delivers an exceptional amount of mileage as well. So on highway runs, I've touched about 15.2, uh, 15.3 kilometers to the liter. And that's with, uh, you know, about three passengers on board and a couple of uh, boxes in the back load bed. So when you look at it, you've got it uh, pretty decently weighed down and yet is delivering that kind of mileage. Uh, of course, in the hills, uh, things change, uh, of, you know, especially coming up the ghat, uh, where it's just one long, steep climb. But uh, overall, going up and down, driving it around Kode Canal, where you are at lower speeds, you're driving at 30 and 40 uh, most of the time, uh, it has still managed to deliver a little above uh, 10. Uh, on occasion, I've seen it touch 10.6, but more often than not, it's stuck at the 10.1, 10.2 kilometers to the liter kind of mark. So, uh, in terms of overall performance, you can see that uh, it lives up to that as well. And it's just something that delights. It's so much fun being behind the wheel. It's so much fun taking this uh, up and down the mountain. Uh, it's a massive vehicle. So you get that feeling of size. You get that feeling of being, uh, you know, sitting up high. You've got a commanding view of the road. Everything about it is just so brilliant. And it really wins you over. The more time that I've spent with it, the more I want one. And it's just something that uh, I hope uh, very soon I'll be able to uh, uh, get myself to fund one of these for myself. But uh, having said that, uh, it's just uh, something that even the family likes. Uh, you know, the kids love it. Uh, they love hopping in and out of it. They, they like this thing parked outside the house. They're like, wow, it just sort of turns heads. Uh, they've wanted me to drop them to school in it. So you've got all of that happening as well. And uh, it just shows that despite its size, despite the fact that it is such a massive vehicle, 
it's also got this very enduring quality to it uh, that does win you over. And uh, going back to driving it around in Kode, taking it up and down the ghat, uh, it is uh, a pretty phenomenal vehicle that uh, does have a lot going for it, especially uh, when you think that, oh my God, uh, it's so big, uh, is it going to be cumbersome on the ghat? Actually, the steering is very well appointed. And uh, the fact that you've got uh, brilliant ground clearance, I think it's about 250 uh, mm of ground clearance. So even though uh, it is a large vehicle, uh, you can easily take it onto the shoulder for overtaking. Uh, you're not really stressed about the bad roads and the bad stretches that you get onto. And uh, the massive chunky 18-inch uh, wheels uh, do their job as well. It actually handles pretty nice. Uh, my pro tip to you is that if you are going out on a long drive with the Suzu, uh, the one thing that you do want to do is sort of weigh down the back. Uh, it is a pickup truck at the end of the day. And uh, the load bed, when it's left empty, can make the back a little jumpy. But uh, if you do keep a couple of bags in the back, uh, you keep your suitcases there or on occasion, uh, I've been using it to transport uh, stuff to and fro from my farm. and. Uh, that sort of helps uh, weigh, weigh it down and it drives uh, really smooth. It's uh, extremely refined in that sense. And even out on the highway, it's just such a comfortable vehicle to use. Uh, you know, just cruising along the highway, doing three digit speeds, uh, which you're allowed to do here in Tamil Nadu on most uh, highway stretches. Uh, it is a, a phenomenal vehicle that uh, feels great, very planted and is a lot of fun to drive. So. Uh, in terms of its versatility, its usage, it's uh, something that you can put together and use for, uh, you know, for numerous occasions. Uh, being someone who has a farm, uh, someone who has to transport stuff, as well as uh, having to, uh, you know, take the kids out, uh, go out for dinners, it's a vehicle that does it all. And I think that that's what makes it uh, such a wonderful product. And it's priced really well too. Uh, the Z Prestige top of the line edition is uh, yours for about uh, 24, 25 lakhs ex showroom. And uh, when you think that its closest competition is the Toyota Hilux, and I know that that has a lot going for it, but uh, just on the sheer uh, overall versatility, the pricing and the refinement that you get with the Suzu, you really don't need to spend that much more. You're gonna get a vehicle that does it all and is absolutely brilliant uh, to have in your garage. So the bottom line is, with the Suzu D-Max V-Cross 4x4, what you get is an exceptional vehicle that's extremely versatile and uh, brilliant to have uh, as your primary family vehicle, especially if you live out somewhere in the open like Kode Canal. And uh, I think it has found a lot of takers over the years and it will continue to do so. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Motoscribes channel. And uh, do leave a comment behind. I love hearing back from all of you. Uh, if you do have a question, you want to add uh, your own perspective, you want me to answer a question that I might have left unanswered, uh, I'd be more than happy uh, to get back to you. Uh, it's one of my commitments to all my viewers that I do answer each and every comment that our channel gets. So uh, do leave a line and uh, it'll be great uh, to hear what you have to say as well.